Hello, it's John here again, and welcome to episode 37. Close to getting 40. <laughs> Dear. Right, I decided that I wasn't going to do it off camera, so I'm going to do it on camera. So we're going to complete the keyboard controls for Neptune Lander. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add the keyboard controls to the main routine for the key uh, for the keyboard and add the menu item for the user to select what type of controls that they want do they want keyboard or do they want uh, joystick so let's get right into it so this should be a pretty short video by the way spoiler Never mind. Okay. Right. So, this is where we were, Game Lander. And we'd just written this routine here for the keyboard input. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same with the joy what I did with the joysticks. Alright, so I'm going to copy that. And we're going to create another routine called GL Keyboard Debug Input. So GL keyboard keyboard in debug in put paste all that in and that can be the RTS. So that should be joystick keyboard. Yep. And then we will call this here call this here and then we can get rid of all this and go straight into the debug information and I'll just remember it we'll call that GL debug information GL Get me naming conventions done. Right, we'll do a quick test of that. Make sure I ain't, still ain't broke it. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. This lockdown is producing lots and lots of videos, guys. <laughs> lots and lots. Right then. forgot to put my headphones in. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Press start. Easy. Right, so we should be still on keyboard mode in, and in debug mode. Yep, yeah, we're still cooking on gas and electric. Brilliant. So now we just need to, we'll, we're going to add the control routine into here. So we're going to do the same thing here. Do you know where we've done this? So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to call this the um, yeah, we're going to do this as the from there to there to there yes oh no we're going from there aren't we Going from there to there. So we'll copy that, take it to the bottom, and we'll do um, what's it called? Read, input, and update variables. 
So GL read joystick and update variables. And this will have at input processed. And we'll put an RTS there. Excellent. So now we just need to do the same for our keyboard. So we'll alter this to mirror what we've got here. So we'll do that. We'll do the first one, which is to go right. That's to go right, so we do that blah, 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 at right. So next one is. No, that's left. Now we do right, which is this one. So we do all that. And we add it to here. Yeah, and then the last one is fire. Which is here. And here's no input. Now, to check that we haven't had any input, that's all right. Get rid of that. Compare with that. Branch if not equal to input processed. Yeah. I think we need another. I think we need another one. Eight. Need an eighth. And basically that. So we're going to do LDA that. And then and with one two three four five oh. one two three four five six seven and store it in eight so basically if there's no input eight should be two uh, FF if there's no input because ands one and one is one so that's a quick way of being able to test it so we can do that here so we can do eight if it's all one then all one then that means that there was no input so so it's all one branch if not equal to 
because if it's equal to it, we need to blank out that. Right, let's turn debug mode off and let's see if we can get this to work. So this should now go into straight into the keyboard mode, F5. So it's common full stop. Oh, and we got an error. What, we got an error? Test fire, duplicate. Duplicate, really? Have we? Oh yeah. F5. Oh, we got another error. Invalid operand. Jump gravity at gravity bypass. Oh, it's this here. Gravity bypass. Oh. So if the fire is detected, we don't apply gravity. Okay. Uh, what we can do there is we can set a state. So we can say, set the carry, and then jump to at input processed and then when it comes because we're going to put the routine up here so when it comes out we can check that and do the gravity bypass which is here Oh right, the gravity bypass is there, but we're doing input prop. Ah, right. So it's here. So where we, we need to go, um, branch if carry set to add gravity bypass. And Here we need a CLC. So that one is plus one. That should sort it out. And we'll do the same here as well. So So here, we're not doing that. We're going to be uh, setting the carry and then jump to at input processed. And if it's, if it's set, it'll do the gravity bypass. Good. Which means that here, We'll have to do CLC, but we're doing plus one. Right, start again. Keyboard test. So, 
Let's see if I've got this right. Sprites are not the sprites are not clearing out. Let's debug this. Right, sprites are not clearing out. So while that's doing that, we'll go get to four. There we go. Sprites are not clearing out. EF all the time. It's not resetting it look. Even though everything's at FF, it's still saying it's EF. because we're not start because once it gets EF we're not resetting it which is silly that right, should do it now right so no it's still not doing it it's still not resetting why is it not resetting I wish it remember where I left it. Right, fire, easy. Get this down to 4,000 quickly. There we go. Too late. Still EF look. It's still EF. Now it's FF. Now it's EF. What is going on? F11. There we go. Ah. So it's got to be around 4A something. I 
So that's where the memory is. For I'll see. There we go, here's the rolls. LDA and it with four store it in A. But if they're all if they're all FFs then it should right let's put a break point there. In fact we'll put a break point there. Right, F ten. F ten. There we go. Right, so it's broke. Oh, um, oh, I, 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 I think I know what the problem is. I think I know what the problem is. Where's live input? It's this. No keyboard activity. That needs to go there. In fact, needs to go there. Don't need to do that. There's no keyboard activity. There, that's it. Let's reset it from the get go. Right, F5. Come on, get in there. Come on. Do, 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 do. Right, press fire. I know it's. That's going to get sorted as well. Right then. That's better. God, it's close. It's mighty close, that is. Bingo, bingo. Right. So we got it working now. So what we need to do now is do the same thing as we did with the uh, joysticks. So we need to copy all this down to there. And then it's read keyboard and update variables. So this is JL read Do that and then cheat. Keyboard and update variables. And then input processed is this. So we're going to copy that and put that there as well. So it does the same thing. So we're going to do the same as what we did with the test. This this here, and we're going to put that here. So load. If it's joystick, then we go to the joystick routine, which is this. And if it's not, read keyboard. And then we can get rid of all that. And it's input processed, isn't it? That's where we go. Input 
input processed. So that now should be toggle blue toggle blue 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 blue. Yep. Right, so that should still work. Right, we'll try it with a keyboard and then we'll convert it back to mouse. Uh, mouse. Joystick. And we got an error. Jump run out of fuel. Keyboard, key, board. So I've spelt it in it. Yeah. So where's this jump run out of fuel? Have I copied that and I shouldn't have done? No, that's okay, still there. Oh, run out of fuel. Okay. Better put that in. After no input. Yeah. Resets sprite. So we'll be here. Everything should be right. Okay. Quick fix. Let's see if we fixed it for good. No, still problem. Run out of fuel. Jump at run out of fuel. Oh. So. Okay. So that goes there. Right. So effectively, this is not run out of fuel. This is just resetting the sprites. Right. Create a routine to reset the sprites. Ugh. Right, it's done it this time. Right, let's make sure we ain't broke it still. Easy.
right. That's because of what we've done here. So we need that. Okay. Try again. Try again and try again. Oops. Oh, nearly. <laughs> make it that time right so now we need to put the um, question in and ask the user what they want to do yeah so uh, da -da 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 -da. game flow because we got to do something about all these screens that say press press enter uh, press fire to move on so like in the scroll screen down JS scroll screen down here once it's finished I think we ask them to press fire don't we here and we don't want to do that. We need to um, we need to make it space all the time, so it's always the space from the title screen. And I think the best way to do that is to just test one nine seven. So. We can do uh, here, so we'll do LDA uh, 197, compare with, got a constant I think for space haven't we? There we go. branch if not equal to scan again so we need to change I think it's title 3 but I think that's in the game memory isn't it title 3 yeah so it's space So we need to find all the places where we are um, well we'll deal with that in a bit so what we need to do is the title screen comes in and then we ask them the um, input device right so we need a new constant new game flow constant So here's a new one, and it's gf underscore um, ask input device. So we'll copy copy that, keep that with us. Go into the game flow, and so we need to from the splash screen. It's going straight to difficulty and we don't want to, we want it to go and ask um, the input device. Let's do this. Uh, 
Just rem that out for a minute. So then it does this difficulty choice. So before then we're going to do the um, we're going to do the question for asking what input device. So, um, so we're going to ask for the input device if it's not already been set. So, GF input device. And so we're going to load that memory location. This one. I need to stay down there. So load that. Compare with hash zero. Well, to be honest, don't need to. <laughs> Uh, branch if not equal to um, no branch if equal if it's equal to zero we need to ask them so ask user for no ask users choice that's it that's a good if it's not equal to means it's already been asked then we do this game status and return straight back out because they've already asked it and answered it so at so now we're going to do the same as we've done here so please ask uh, select difficulty so we'll go to GS which is screens And we'll copy that and we'll paste it down there uh, please select please please select board or joystick Right, so we'll go to the memory. So we'll borrow that, put that there. So we're going to go down three, and we're going to go over and ask, and, and basically, um, please select K E board or J boy stick and what we'll do is because um, I think it's in white I think it's in white. Uh, so we'll make it here red. Turn it back to white. And whoops. Red. Turn it back to white. Get rid of this. So which input device? Save that, put that in there. So we're doing which input device?
Right, so we'll go back to our flow. And then we'll do this, copy this as well, here. So we do this again. So keyboard check, load it, compare with no key. Then what I want is the J. So constants. So it's K and J. There's K. Okay, and we'll put this as J. Alright, so branch if not equal, try joystick. going to do is we're going to load ID key board ID joy stick and we're going to go to input device selected which can be here store it now into there so when they come to here the first thing we do is STA there and then we'll do an RTS oh we need to change the game status as well set but also I want to do something else as well so let's go back to the memory because I want to add two more uh, keyboard device so this time we're going to go down five and we're going to go um, equals left uh, space equals thrust and equals right and then in this one it's gonna be joystick device so this is gonna be five as well and it's please use joystick port 2 and that's what we need to do so in game here um, do the same thing again so 1 2 
display keyboard instructions. Display joystick instructions. Right. And they were that for the keyboard and that for the joystick. And then what we want to do is we want to just add a just a little bit of a delay to our the user's choice. So we'll do that there. And we'll run these routines. A JS show keyboard instructions. And this is joystick. So here, when they've picked the joystick, we want to JSR to that. And for the, when they've picked joystick, we want them to JSR to that. That needs to go back. Right, that should work. That should work. Now let's find out, shall we? F5. F5, here we go, come on. Oh. Ah. I've left the keyboard override in there. Well, that'll test that they've already chose something. So it should go straight into the difficulty. So this is now space. Press space to start. I'm pressing space. Nothing. Nothing. <sighs> Nothing ever goes right. Space by 60. Let's find out if, that, if I've got that right. Print peak 197. 197. 20, go to 10. Run. Spacebar. 60. It's in here, isn't it? Load 197. Compare it. Branch if not equal to. Oh. Ah. Try again, John. Try again! Right, I've left that instruction in to test that it will not ask it if it's already set. So it should not ask me. It should go straight into the difficulty question. Press space. Oh, kaboom! Okay. Game flow. Let's get rid of the sound because I don't need that. Game flow. 
Right, so it does the initialize, sets up, does that, ask. Oh, what a wally. <sighs> oh dear. <laughs> Uh. Press space. There we go. It's asking us easy meet right easy. So this should be still keyboard controlled. Yeah. Right, so that's still fire there. Right, so what we need to do is we need to rem this out and see if it'll ask us the question. Right, F5. Do, 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 do. Space. Oh, just a bit too far over. That's three characters. Too many. Let's stop it, sort that out. Three characters, too many. Okay. So f let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 38, so we just need a space, well, let's work this one out as well then, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 37, it's 2, 38, 1, no, can't be, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 37, so that's 3, so I just put a space, so, but, so this is going, no, 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 no. This is shorter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26. 4, 14, 7. Get rid of the space. All right. Let's try again. So keyboard first, see if the keyboard instructions come up and see if it actually is controlled by the keyboard. Then we'll do the joystick, see if it's controlled by the joystick. And then we've got to sort out that space issue when we crash. Press space. Keyboard, please. Haha. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it one. It wasn't on long enough. Wasn't on long enough. And two, I didn't want it to go. Yeah, I don't want it to clear the screen. First one should clear the screen, and then this should be home. And this one should be home. And I don't want it clearing the screen here either. I want it to add home. 
Right, so we need to check that the scrolling screen, so just that, does that, does that, does that, waits. So it doesn't clear the screen. When it does the scrolling, it doesn't clear the screen. No, it doesn't. Initializing, scrolling, clears the, so this does the screen. Press the space bar, it doesn't clear the screen. Right, so we need to do, 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 do hash dollar 93, I think it is. JSR, print, 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 print. Carry it out. So that does the print screen. That clears the screen. Right, let's try it again. F5. I don't I want it to stack up, I don't want it to clear out. Might need to, might be able to take some of the delay away if we leave the instructions on the screen. Right, press space. Keyboard. There we go. Oh, put a capital. To, put a capital in. I like that. I like that. I like that. Let's get rid of the capital. There. And I wonder if it'll do this. Or have I reassigned those characters as well? Let's, let's find out. Right, F5. Press space. Keyboard. Oh, excellent. Easy, please. Lucky, 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 lucky. Hey. <laughs> right. Let's see if it goes back to joystick if we ask. F5. Space bar when it lands. Now with joystick. Joyst joyst joystick. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> if it's K. Oh I've done K again. Right, joystick. Please use joystick port two. Hey, easy. It's now on the joystick again. And no! Huh. Game lander. Why didn't that work? Branch not equal to keyboard input.
I did set it to joystick, didn't I? ID joystick. Oh, what? What? How did the keyboard work then? Because it wouldn't have been set. Is that, does it default? Let's have a look. Choice. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's in Lander, isn't it? Game Lander. Oh, it defaults to joist, defaults to keyboard. Okay. Good job I put that in there, won't it? Alright, F5. This, this should do it now. It should do it. Space. Right, joystick. Point port two. Easy. There we go. What we like to see. Ooh. See, press start again. Press space. So, I need to change those, don't I? So where we did the the splash screen, GS splash screen, which is here, we can do the same for when you die. Instead of testing now for the trigger, in flight, collided, Dying, dead. It's landed. Here we go, dead. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rem this lot out here. Yeah. Branch if not equal, no game reset. Because I want to, I want to um, make it so you can do both. So when we've landed, so where's when we've landed? Because I think that asks for space as well. Score. Next level. That's next level. Died, but let's try again. This is next level. It's not asking for me to... Okay. So I've left that in there because I want to make it that you can do it from the joystick. I just want to do it both ways. So I just want to check that we can get it to do space.
Right. I'm going to let it crash and see if the space. Yeah, so press space. Good. Now, oh, it's one. Oh, it's over an hour. What I'm what I what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some code in there that will check to see what device it is, and then we'll use whichever device is um, is required, and um, change that from because it says press fire there, and we're on space, and I want it to say space if it's. Um, keyboard or fire if it's um, not not yeah. yeah you know what I mean oh well it's been an hour I'll do I'll definitely do this off camera um, right if you like what I do hit that like button if you didn't like what I do fine hit the dislike button always leave me a comment I try and answer them all and if you'd like to support me then I have a patrons page Please select any one of the tiers. You'll get access to exclusive sections in my forum as well as uh, early release videos. And with that, I will say, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.